To compute the median absolute deviation, or MAD for short, we use the aptly named MAD function in R. In this video, I'll demonstrate the RMAD function, and we'll play with some of its parameters to get a sense of the function. So first we'll start with the dataset. I'm going to use the built-in example dataset for trees. So this trees dataset, which I can bring up in the help, is the girth, height, and volume for black cherry trees. So there's 31 observations in three variables, and for this example we're going to use the, the girth. So we'll call this variable g, and we'll get the trees girth. So these are the three observations. So the girth is the tree diameter in inches. So we look at the data. So these are they go from 8.3 inches up to 20.6 inches. Now if we take the median of this, we see the median is 12.9. So the median absolute deviation is the median of the absolute deviations from this median. So MAD of G. So our median absolute deviation in this case is 2.81 and change. So suppose I want to, instead of the deviation from the median, I want to look at the absolute deviation from the mean. So the mean in this case is 13.24 or 13.25, rounded up. Um, and if we look at the median, or sorry, the median absolute deviation or MAD of G, we can get change the center instead of by default we get a median so we're looking at absolute deviation from the median which is our initial result here so this is what the default is but we can change the center to something else let's change it to the mean and that'll change our result which makes sense because our mean is a little bit higher than our median so a mean is 3.25 and our median is 12.9. So that's one of the parameters we can modify. We can also change the scale factor or constant. So we have a constant which is equal to 1.4826. I won't get into details about how this is chosen, but this helps give our MAD function a little bit more consistency depending on our data set. If we don't like it, we can change it. We can scale by one or two, or leave it by the default, the 1.4826. Another thing that comes up is missing data points. Suppose our function G had a NA data point or a missing data point. So G now has this NA point. Maybe we didn't measure the girth of the tree on that sample, on that observation. So if we compute the MAD of G, now we get NA because of this point. But like many functions in R, we can specify NA.RM or remove the NA points from our sample and compute. And it works fine. And that'll conclude this demo on how to compute the median absolute deviation or MAD in R.